Hi everyone! It's with great pride, honor, and excitement that I'll show you how to make my version of Brazil's number one dish, feijoada. This mix of beans and meats will change the way you look at beans forever. And as the good Brazilian that I am, I'm also going to show you how to make the rice and vinagrete because no feijoada is complete without them. Stick around to find out how I make it all. I start by putting one pound of dry black beans in a two and a half quart bowl. I rinse them well to get rid of all of the dust, some bad beans, or any impurities that I may find. I drain the water and repeat the process. I find black beans to be much more flavorful than pinto beans or any other when it comes to feijoada, so that's the one I always use. I add enough filtered water to cover them plus one to two inches above them. They're going to soak in it for at least four hours and absorb a lot of that, so I give them plenty of it. After soaking the beans for at least four hours, I get rid of the water and I rinse the beans very well, looking for any bad ones and loose skin. I repeat the process by draining the water and rinsing the beans again, because that's just how I roll. I add more filtered water to the bowl and let the beans soak for at least two more hours, because I believe that the longer they soak, the better they'll cook and taste. Now onto the meat. Today I'm using a couple of different brands of fully cooked mild smoked country style sausage a Portuguese sausage link, half of a Paiu sausage, and a couple of pieces of country-style pork ribs. I start by cutting off the ends and removing their casing if possible. I have used good quality beef kielbasa in the past. It's excellent in feijoada and I never had to remove its casing. But I wanted to try something different this time and I ended up having to remove the casing from the first three sausages. This is the Portuguese sausage and I got it at my local supermarket. It's a little tougher and spicier than a country sausage, but it added great flavor to my feijoada. Paio is a cured, thick smoked sausage made with pork loin and spices. It's originally from Portugal and commonly used in this dish. I always use country style pork ribs. They're so tender they melt in the mouth. I had pre-seasoned them with one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of onion powder, ground black pepper, and one tablespoon of all-purpose seasoning that I purchased at the ethnic aisle of my local grocery store. I have enough meat to fill a two and a half quart bowl and placed it into a larger one. I chop a medium yellow onion into small pieces and cut half of a medium green bell pepper into large strips and then in half. They go into the bowl with the meats, seasoned with one tablespoon of paprika, two tablespoons of all-purpose seasoning, two tablespoons of onion powder, and one tablespoon of garlic powder. Mix it all up, cover, and set it aside. No need to refrigerate if cooked within an hour. For the vinagrette, I need to chop half of a sweet onion, half of a green bell pepper, four Roma tomatoes, and a handful of cilantro. I cut the tomatoes into four pieces, remove their core, and remove their seeds, of course. There's no need to remove their skin. I slice them into fine strips, slice them across and place them into a medium-sized glass container. I slice the green bell pepper into fine strips, then I slice it across and place it in a glass bowl with the tomatoes. I slice the sweet onion horizontally across the center three times, then vertically from one side to the other and across all the way to the back it should be finely chopped. Into the glass bowl it goes. And last but not least, cut the leafy part of the cilantro. 
Gather it all by rolling it together and chop it into two directions. This bunch has a lot of leaves and thin stems, but when the stems are thick, I only chop the leaves. I add ground black pepper, salt to taste, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, which is optional, one teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning, also optional, two tablespoons of canola oil, two tablespoons of red wine vinegar, and that's why this mixture is called vinaigrette. I added half a cup of water at first, then I stirred it all up and added another half a cup. I added a total of one cup of water. I taste the vinaigrette and see if I want more vinegar, salt, or water. It smells so good and fresh. It's one of my favorite foods. I cover it up and place it in the fridge. Now onto the most delicious simple rice in the world. I place a medium non-stick saucepan on low medium heat for about 20 seconds and add three tablespoons of canola oil. I chop half of a large yellow onion the same way I chop for the vinaigrette. I stir it up a little bit, then I grate three large garlic cloves straight into the pan and saute them for about a minute until the onion is translucent, breaking up the garlic but not letting them brown. This is a popular rice in Brazil. We eat it with just about anything. So simple yet so tasty and everyone who tries it loves it. Some call it simple white rice, but in the area where I'm from in Brazil, we call it arroz carioca. After sauteing the onion and garlic, I add one and a half cups of long grain white rice. I like to rinse my rice in a colander first and let it sit for about 15 minutes to drain a little. But you don't have to do this. You can just add it to the measuring cup it's straight from the bag. I fry the rice, stirring it well. I let it sit without stirring for about 10 seconds. Then I stir it again. I let it sit for another 10 seconds without stirring it. Then I stir it some more until the grains start to look whiter and a little smaller. It's time to add two and a quarter cups of filtered water. I stir it, add salt to taste, and stir it again to dissolve it. When it starts to boil, I cover it and reduce the heat to low. I cook it until the rice is tender, 15 to 18 minutes. It looks good to me. The rice is cooked at the top and there is no water left at the bottom of the pan. Keep covered off heat until ready to serve. Now the feijoada. I place my six quart pressure cooker on medium heat for about a minute. I heat one tablespoon of canola oil and distribute it evenly around the bottom of the pan. I add the meats at once, lower the heat and stir them around to saute them well. This feijoada is made with simple pre-cooked sausages, but it can also be made with dry salted beef and chunks of bacon. Stay tuned because I'll be making that one in a future video. As the brown bits form at the bottom of the pan, add a little bit of water to deglaze it. I browned the meats on low medium heat for about 20 minutes and ended up using a total of one cup of water for deglazing. Remember to add just a little bit of water at a time and don't let the brown bits burn before adding water. Once the meats are a little brown, I increase the heat to medium, add the beans along with the water they soaked in, and stir them well. If you are enjoying this video so far and have found it to be valuable to you in any way, give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe if you haven't done it already. I always scrape the sides of the pressure cooker to get every bit of seasoning off. Hey, it's flavor! I add half a cup of water. Stir it a little bit. I add one beef bouillon cube, 
stir a little bit more, and clean the rim of my pressure cooker with a damp paper towel to make sure the lid seals properly. Once my feijoada starts boiling, I close the lid. The pin is up, the pan is sealed, and when it starts to make this sound, I let my feijoada cook for 40 minutes. I move it from the heat and let the pressure come out on its own. I remove the lid and stir my feijoada. The smell is incredible, by the way. If you want the broth to be thicker, you may smash some beans in the pan with a fork. But I didn't think it was necessary. It thickened a bit as it set. If this is not an awesome bean video, I don't know what is. So, are you craving it yet? This much feijoada serves six to eight adults. It's a dish that's not expensive to make. It's incredibly delicious and perfect for a weekend gathering. The recipe is in the video description and everyone is going to ask you for it, so you might as well share this video beforehand. I like to put some rice on my plate first, then some feijoada on top and vinaigrette on the side. These three dishes are awesome and they complement each other perfectly. There is another side dish called farofa that I'll teach you how to make in a different video, so stay tuned. When we have leftovers, I place a couple of servings in food saver bags and freeze them for up to three months, but we always end up eating it within a couple of weeks. I really hope you try feijoada, and if you do, you understand why this is Brazil's number one dish. It's a game changer. It's going to make your eyes roll and it's going to make your mouth water just by thinking about it. I used to bring this dish to work and everyone loved it. They always ask for more. And with a little pimenta malagueta brine. It's so good. And as always, Guaraná soda, also very popular, traditional in Brazil. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.